James here. Today we're going to have a look at doing a letter reveal, just like you're sort of handwriting the letter. I thought this would be an interesting thing to do and you're basically going to use the mask to do this. So first of all I'm going to add a colour card into the background. We'll make that colour card sort of a grey. We're going to need a couple of drawing layers. So this drawing here will be our letter. And I'm thinking we might just go with a maybe a red letter S. And it's way too small for us. We sort of want maybe a two hundred. Okay, I'm just going to grab this and we'll size it up a bit. So this is the letter we're going to slowly reveal and we're going to try to just use a mask to, un to reveal this. So I'm going to need basically two masks. One will be a sort of background mask. And then the other mask will be a tip like the tip of the pen. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have one mask which moves around slowly revealing the tip and that's just going to basically be a rectangle and this background mask is just going to mask the rest of the letter. Because you'll see that this sort of tip, which I think I'll do, I'm just going to lock down all the layers by pressing Control shift o and that locks down all the layers except for the one I'm working on. I'm going to do that first mask in blue. It really doesn't matter what colour you use. I generally use black unless I'm using dark colours and then I might use a bright red and a bright, bright green. But the way masks work is it's just whether it's filled in or not. So first of all I'm just going to get a rectangle and sort of actually let's not do that. Let's just grab it like this. it a bit higher. And now these are going to want to be down a bit. I'm going to round this bottom so that we've sort of got a nice round tip. Um, just settle these up so we've got a widest rectangle. We'll fill this in. And now I'm going to go grab a pivot point and stick it in here. So next, I'm also I'm going to create another drawing. And this drawing here is just going to be a guide. And so I'm just going to hide this tip for a minute. And basically we're going to want to run our mask around here and we're going to want to evenly divide it upon our 60 frames because we've got a reasonably smooth sort of thing, sort of line. So I'm just going to go and grab a green and sort of grab a guide layer, maybe one. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I mean, you could be a little bit more precise than this, but that's going to be our 60 frames. So let's lock that down, go back up here, and we'll just extend our exposure by pressing F5 on the last frame for our, for our guide and our letter, and we'll also extend our expo exposure of our tip for the whole section. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run a tip around. I'm actually going to drag the letter onto the top. I think it'll be easier for me to be able to sort of see the curve of the lesser as I'm working around with it. So I'm now going to again lock down everything except for our tip mask and we'll work on animating the tip mask in the next section.